Okay. My wing is fouled. Ball twisted up. Uh oh. Clear air. That's it. So last night the weather was absolutely perfect. The winds had been out of the west all day and the forecast called for them to die down to about three or four miles an hour right about 5 p.m. I laid my glider out here like I normally do on the other side of the Vassy light. Got my motor all warmed up. Came out and the winds had shifted from the south. And anytime there's a south wind here it's a problem because that big two-story house right there creates a tremendous amount of rotor right about the time I'm ready to generate my maximum running speed. So I know better. So I stood there for about, I don't know, 18 minutes with that heavy motor on my back, full of fuel because I was planning on a nice long cross country on a beautiful evening. And I kept getting more and more tired and exhausted. I set the motor down, took a break, and all of a sudden the wind switched back to the west. So I quickly downed the motor. In fact, the winds were strong enough to do a reverse, so I clipped in backwards, pulled the wing up, and as I spun around one of my brake lines, the wingtip steering line got snagged on my GoPro mount and chopped with the propeller. So I posted on Facebook, how would you tie a knot to do a temporary fix while I wait for a new line, because it looks like it's gonna be flyable again tonight. I got a bunch of suggestions, but I just came up with an even better idea. So like most gliders, the Mac Para Colorado came with a field repair kit that had some spare lines. Here's the broken one, and I'd removed it from the portion that ties the 2D steering out to the end of the brake handle, and I replaced it by threading through this repair line that's longer in fact it's too long and I was going to tie the two together there's the rest of the wing up there but I don't like the thought of having a knot some people said that the knot could be stronger than the line I don't necessarily agree with that I think the knot might be a failure point but if you look at the way these things were served they serve this loop on the end of it they run the line back inside of itself like a Chinese finger trap. You can get about two inches of line down inside of there and uh, when you tension the line the line creates enough pressure around the core to hold that served eye. So I'm going to serve an eye on here. I ran back to the house and I picked up some of these darning needles. I had them for other projects in the past. And I'm going to use a medium size one and I'm going to make a loop on one end, and then I'll stretch this out against the hanger wall over there, and I'll duplicate the line length and run it through, and I won't even have to untie anything, and it should be the same length. Of course, I'll kite and pre-flight before I go flying on it, but this isn't really all that critical. It's just the wingtip steering line. So to make these opposing eye splices, i got to start somewhere. So I threaded the unsheathed brake line through the darning needle. I left myself about a three inch tail. So what I've done here is I've threaded the needle down through the center of the line and now I'm going to pull the bitter end down about two and a half inches into that line into the center of that and it'll make the eye. I'll be careful not to pull it too tight and have that eye fall all the way down into the center of the core. You need to leave yourself a little bit of eye. Now that I've pulled it all the way through, I'm going to measure about two inches and I'm going to cut the tail right here. I have a complete new fresh eye. It's about half an inch long and I've got about two inches of the core down into the center of the line. So I'll make up the other side and put it all back together. So since this line is quite long, what I've done here is I've secured a hook pin to the hanger door and I run the good line a fixed distance 
to an opposite pin so that when I make up my replacement line, I get approximately the same length. Now, this isn't under a tremendous amount of tension, but it's tight enough to be straight and it's loose enough that I can stretch the line. There's about a half an inch of stretch in it here so I can stretch the, the good line off of here. And now I have my fixed distance to make up the repair line without any knots. So I've got those two pins. Let me get the repair line and we'll get that set up. So I flip the wing over. I'm not going to untie anything because I don't want any extra work if I don't have to. And you can see that the repair line that came with the kit is about half the distance of this line. So I'm going to use as much of that as I can. I'm going to make the tie-in repair a little higher up on the brake line. And this is the, the new repair line. And then I'm going to take the other end that was severed and come down here through this. And we'll join the two right in the middle here. So the eye I'd previously made mates with the old brake line and all I'm going to do is tension these up by working the slack out of that knot and then I'll make a opposing eye and latch the two together. So now that I have the two together I've approximated the tension I had on the other line. Now it's just a matter of cutting about a two inch tail here and serving it back down through the center of the old line then I can fly it until I get my replacement line. And once it's all done, that will leave me two opposing eyes here that can be disconnected in the standard fashion when you take the mallions apart and disconnect any of these served eyes. So last but not least, there's my two opposing eyes served together. And I can pull the slack out of those, which I will do like that. So that's pretty standard way that the lines are connected to each other. And then I'll check it for length and the beauty of this is I shouldn't have to do a whole lot of adjustments to my wingtip steering lines because I honored the length of the original line. Now I could have done it, just done it wild and made the adjustment at the brake handle, but that would probably take more time than the way I did it here. So here's the new line, here's the new serving. Nice and tight, drag free, won't catch on anything. Midline length, and let's go kite the wing and see how close I came. So here comes Mike on his first approach into the air before he lands. So he's got a little bit of a flyby, maybe, maybe not. Going around, that's actually a good call.
So they got a ramp under construction for repaving. Why they tore up the concrete, I will never know. Sounds like a government job to me. Oh man, what a perfect evening. Holy smokes. Oh, started his flare too early. Started his flare too early, but he is safely on the ground. And we got two more to recover. Get you one more time I really wanna cross the line I do it all